This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now having it back in the Game Caviar studios with a brand new game for the channel. Uh, something that I picked up for Black Friday. This is Dishonored, a game that came out, what, about a month ago? And it was really hyped up and it had all these nice reviews and everything. But at the time, I was uh, kind of, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I was low on cash or whether I just wanted to wait for the. Oh, I think I, I, it was too many other games coming out. That's what it is. And I had planned on picking this game up. Honestly, I did. But uh, I had the Halo 4 and all those other games that came out around the same time. Uh, some of those games came out after it. But still. I didn't want to spread myself too thin. So, yesterday, uh, me and a wife went to Toys R Us. And as soon as we walked in, I mean, yesterday was Black Friday, of course. And they had this bin. And inside of this bin, they said, buy one, get one for a dollar. Before I even looked at the games, I was like, huh, that sounds like some, some BS. Like, they're going to have a bunch of old games, buy one, get one for a dollar. Well, as it turned out... They didn't have any old games. Well, they had old games, but I think I got the, the same. I think I got the last two newer games that they had in there, which was Dishonored and the new Need for Speed Most Wanted. I think it's, yeah, the new Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's Need for Speed. So this game, on the other hand, is really cool. Uh, Dishonored, I was really hyped for this game. And I was actually really glad to pick it up at such a good price. I, actually, I think I paid full price for this, but I got the new Need for Speed for a dollar. So it, it works out for the best. Right here, they give I have a sword and I have a gun. And one of the main aspects about this game is that they give you a choice in each mission. You could either go in, guns are blazing, or you can sneak around. I honestly tried to sneak around as much as possible in this mission. This is like the first mission. You get framed for killing the... I guess the queen and uh, making her daughter disappear when in actuality you get framed. So you have to get revenge on the people who did this to you. And right now I got some people on the outside that helped me break out. They gave me a key to my, excuse me. They gave me a key to my cell and I'm out wandering around trying to get out of here. I think I got to, yeah, I got to put some explosives on the door and I got to blow it up and everything. But they give you the the choice of um, sneaking around or just going out and fighting. Well, I honestly tried to do the sneaky route on this mission, but it didn't work out. So I ended up killing a lot of people. I think because this is the first mission, they didn't necessarily want you to do the, uh, the sneakiness. But you could try. Uh, I definitely did, and it really didn't get me that far. Well, I'm past the mission, but it wasn't sneaky at all. Uh, the graphics in this game are okay. They're not bad. They're not really realistic either, but they are something that I can overlook. They're pretty good, and you have this whole uh, steampunk look to the game, which is really awesome because I like steampunk-themed uh, clothing and uh, art and things like that and some music but you know it's kind of it's off and on um this game is really good it's engaging like i didn't want to stop playing this last night it was really like, it was getting really early in the morning and i had to force myself to stop playing this game because it is really good it's kind of one of those it kind of reminds me of fallout a little bit because you get to walk around and you get to do things but you do have missions that you have to do of course and that's how you progress along in the game. The, the one thing that they keep pushing in this game is that you're out for revenge. Seriously, you're out to get the people who framed you. And that is made clear from the beginning of the game. So it's not like you have some sort of choice as to what you... Like, are you going to be the vengeful type or are you just going to be out for whatever you know it, they made it clear that you're out to get vengeance against the people who did this to you before they framed you you were really high ranking you know and, and you were trying to find a <clears throat> you were going around and there were other towns or cities and you were going to get trying to get help for this plague that is uh going through your hometown and basically what happened is they the other cities or towns or whatever they said no we're gonna blockade you because we don't want that stuff spreading to our town and we want to see if it's gonna uh 
change your city into rubble. <clears throat> so, that's how the game started off. And, of course, the queen gets killed and you get blamed for it. I've said that a hundred times. And you go from there. So, since then, I made it throughout through the first mission. I made it. I met the, uh, the rebel alliance, I guess you can call them. Or whatever they want to be called. I forgot what they're called. It's probably like the Brotherhood or something. I don't know. And they give you the cool mask. And you get your uh, this heart that allows you to find runes that uh, equal power-ups. And it's really cool because if you press the L button, um, it will whisper secrets to you. It will whisper secrets to you. Uh, which is awesome because you can point it at somebody and then it'll be like, you know, this person is blah 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 whatever whatever anyway awesome you they uh use the two weapon system as you can see uh, kind of like um biohazard almost where the uh the the left trigger powers whatever you have in your left hand and the right trigger obviously does whatever's in your right hand i like that because that gives you some sort of um it's it's pretty cool because you know if you go to a fight with two weapons you have a better chance of winning so uh, keep that in mind and uh, also keep be on the lookout for this game. I'm having some trouble with it, this might replace a uh, warfighter in, in the uh, lineup, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm not having in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.